once again. Hello and welcome our safety friends. We need to show you all of the tales and skills that some of you know well. For those who have not heard it before, you never get what life in store. In ancient days of Robin Hood, of Arthur Mack and Walter Wood, Sal Adams in the land of Greece had fought his war and found his peace. Yet he kept that peace with that full love that people sometimes used to war. And one girl, Hermia by name, risked punishment from her and shame. She disobeyed her dad's demands to marry the man that he commands. And true love triumph will stop going? Why, that's the theme of this our tale. So great the curtain, set the scene, will show us the fright of the midsummer dream. Hermia, Hermia, Hermia. You are duty bound to do what your father commands you to do. He was to marry me. He did sign a worthy gentleman. So is my son. That's not the point. Your father doesn't like him. Tell me, Demetrius, what will happen if I refuse you to marry you? If you disobey your father's orders, you mean? Hacked mm. by the laws of Athens. Our city, you must either die or swear you'll never see a man again, a coffin or an undress. That will be your choice. It takes nothing to love a man that can't marry you. Besides, doesn't my friend Helena adore you? Haven't you let her fall in love with you? Nonsense. Why would I do a thing like that? You've upset me. I'll talk to you no more. Good day to you, my love. Isn't the weather beautiful? Oh, Harlem. Why are your cheeks so pale? They were unwed as roses. You are unwed as My father said they must be married to this old Demetria, my poor Hermia. The poor love to do that never did run smooth, and this is what I would deserve. What can we do? Perhaps we have the brain to take the punishment. Or perhaps we could just run away. And that's my idea. Yes, that's it. We'll need the sound of poor words. In fact, I'm not going to think about it. I have an aunt who lives seven miles from Athens. She'll keep her safe that we can find the hell without your father knowing. The cause of being in your apartment is there. Tomorrow night, you will shut up your house and meet me in the morning. Do I son, but I swear I shall wait for the gods of love. Look, here comes the Hello, fair Helena. Fair? You shouldn't call me fair. Demetrius is Hermia is fair. Why is it you can catch his illness but not beauty? I catch your prettiness if I could. I haven't done it on purpose. I frown at you to be lovely still. I wish your mouth could teach my smile that skill. The more I hate, the more he follows. The more I love, the more he hates me. Don't worry, we won't be killing my baby much longer. Because left out in the night, a planet is around the end. Helen, we'll trust you with our land. Tomorrow night, when the moon is looking at herself in the water of the lake, we see the world from Athens. Yes, and from the woods, where you and I live on the second continent, we'll set out on our journey, we'll run away to be married. Farewell, sweet dreamer. You came up, and good luck to meet you. Now, my son, let us go. Lots of people say I'm just as beautiful as Hermia, but all for nothing. The meteorite doesn't say so. There's a reason that Cupid, the god of love, is said to have been blind. He has made me fall in love with Demetrius, even though he's cruel to me. And now I am so jealous. What shall I do? Hmm. I know. I will tell him of the 
bad on his side. Then he'll go to the woods tomorrow night and he'll be kind to me because I told him I'll go right away. Well, here you go. What did you do? One up by that and one up by two? Does Adam still have to be nervous? Of course not. There are plenty of others. Plenty high and plenty low. Plenty in early years of work. Of love to others, I'll return. Take my heart with Adam in the air. Have a seat. It's a severe by the feet. It's here we go. I have to eat. There's the same of his head. It's hard to hear the heavy head. Let's watch and see how they are The lady and the gentleman, the 
old as well. You recognize him. He's wearing a faded cloak. Do you not mind him? I'm your servant, and I'll do you command. Don't forget that 
The fish is there and I'm the lot, the place I'm used to play. There's no one there yet, the part is there, the heart is there. Oh, it's Amy, but it's my plan a bit. I'll take it to the gentleman's room. Sit again. My ears are overjoyed to hear your voice. My eyes are filled to see your handsome shape. Even at this first sight, I know I love you. Mistress, I think you can make your reason for that. And again, to tell you the truth, reason and love are what comes down together nowadays. Come, oh, it's a shame, really. You're wise, you're beautiful. I don't think the shape is good enough to get out of this wood. Out of this wood? You shall not go, but stay with me and don't say no. I love you. Come, away with me, and fairy shall be served to thee. They'll fetch two jewels from the sea, and sing while I press now with you speak. They'll pluck thorns from here to butterfly, to fan the leaves from the eye. Come, no complaint, let's sit together in a bower. Well, I suppose you would sing. Now Boston's found a lovely bear. Why does she live with human hair? So partly deep, and her needle of the elf to his heart. How do you adore? No apple donkey, horse, or mule. New love does with mutton balls. Although her passions are the trick of magic and they eat in the script as they appear. Why does he like when all we get behind? Still, he can say, what did I say to you? I love. Very good. Let's meet you then on her soft dust. It's the red side of it, may come to pass. I wonder if she tied her for weight, and what it was that she fell in love with when she had her eyes. This is exhausting. 
There's no use following our like this. I lay it down under my sorrow. I'll lay down here and sleep. What have you done? You made a terrible mistake. I never loved you from my true lover's eyes instead of me. What's all for that? Go on, get out of here. Try to put them in the wind and find Helen there or Abby. She's sick with love. Helen will find it. Meet her here and I'll find the weakness of eyes. I know, I know. Look how fast I go. Pass me an arrow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Helena, I love you, and I swear to prove it in any way you love. I say I love you more than he does. Why you so good? Lysander, must be love. Don't be so rude. You are so red. Are you not joking there? Oh, I just couldn't be in, and so are you. Be certain that it is no good. I hate you and love Helena. Helena, do you see? Have you deliberately stolen my love? How could you ask me that? You counterfeit friend, you puppet. Puppet? How dare you? Are you calling me small? Do you think that fish is taller than me? You grow higher in his heart. You, you came to the day of I'm not so small as my nails can't be between your eyes. So therefore hurt me. Hurt me up. I love you. I kept your secret and never did you any wrong. Except that I was driven by my love for Demetrius, holding on the flight into the woods. That was bad of me, I'll admit. But I followed him and he had to threaten and insulted me the whole way. I would take my fortune back to Athens and pursue you no more. Don't worry, I'll not let her harm you right now. Nor shall I! She was shrewd as a fox when we went to school, and though she is but little, she is fierce. You will not forget that you are still playing in school. Go on, get out of her, you wool, you bees, you acorns. Oh, look on her, stand up. Come with me, and I'll fight you for her.
Yeah. 
love to know. If I took the time to lift the magic from her eyes. What about her uh, uh, friend? Here, you can see each other. Take this monstrous head off him and give him his own shape again. Let him, let him be as he used to be and let her be as she used to be. Now, Titania, away. Wake up, my sweet queen. Oh, my own room. I had the strangest dream. I thought I was in love with a donkey. No lies or love. Oh, good heaven. But how did this happen? Look at him. Look at that great ugly nose. Those enormous ears. Oh, how horrible it seems to my eyes now. Hush, hush, my sweet queen. Join hands with me. Join hands with me, and we shall put our claw aside. Well, even now, let's start together as we used to, and bless the wedding of flowers too. I have united in this way. Oh, 